Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. These very famous words were said by the French philosopher René Descartes. But what do they mean? And how did Descartes use this to prove that all humans have a soul? Before we understand this phrase, how did Descartes come to this realization? At the time of Descartes, a popular discussion was over if reality was simply an illusion and whether or not we truly existed. Descartes starts off in his work titled Meditations on First Philosophy by realizing that there are many things which he believed at some point which were false. Descartes states in the first meditation, how often has it happened to me that in the night I dreamt that I found myself in this particular place, that I was dressed and seated near the fire, whilst in reality I was lying undressed in bed. Descartes realizes that our senses deceive us on multiple occasions, and so we should doubt the certainty of them. He also proposes the idea that there could be some evil demon or ghost who is actively trying to deceive Descartes' senses, and he would never even know. This process of doubting is called Cartesian or hyperbolic doubt, in which you doubt everything in existence in order to find things that you can be certain of. So in now not trusting his senses, he states, I shall consider myself as having no hands, no eyes, no flesh, no blood, nor any senses, yet falsely believing myself to possess all these things. So what is left? Can Descartes know any certainty, as he could be simply dreaming, or there could be an all-powerful demon actively deceiving Descartes in his senses, such as a deception that the material world exists? At this point, Descartes was truly affected by his meditation on the issue. But it was in this suffering and doubt that Descartes realized one thing that he could be certain of. He states in the second meditation, So that after having reflected well and carefully examined all things, we must come to the definite conclusion that this proposition, I am, I exist, is necessarily true each time that I pronounce it or that I mentally conceive it. This is where the concept of, I think, therefore I am, truly comes from. By Descartes doubting that he exists, he therefore proves that he exists, as only something which exists can doubt if it exists, or as the famous phrase argues it, only something which thinks, therefore exists. Descartes calls this the first certainty that he can be aware of. He also calls this concept a clear and distinct idea, in that it is intellectually clear, and in a sense an intuition of the human to conceptualize or think of. Now that Descartes has established that his mind exists, he further continues to argue that there is a distinction between the mind or soul and the human body. This is one of the most famous forms of mind-body dualism. In the sixth meditation, Descartes states, I possess a body with which I am very intimately conjoined, yet because, on the one side, I have a clear and distinct idea of myself inasmuch as I am only a thinking and unextended thing, and as, on the other, I possess a distinct idea of a body, inasmuch as it is only an extended and unthinking thing, it is certain that this, that is to say, my soul, by which I am what I am, is entirely and absolutely distinct from my body, and can exist without it. For Descartes, the soul or mind is undoubtable, as he relies on it to exist by his thinking. Yet, the human body is doubtable, 
as he is not reliant on it to exist necessarily. If this is the case, because the mind or soul has properties which differ from the body, in that you can doubt the body, but not the soul or mind, it therefore logically follows that the mind or soul is distinct from the human body. Thank you for watching this video on Descartes. If you enjoyed and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, God bless.